welcome to the February edition of the Daisy Chain as we embark on a new school year here at Turak. And this leadership team may be like no other before them with our head girl Nina and our deputy head girl Hope are starting us off with a theme for leadership that will infiltrate across the school. Nina, tell us a little bit about the theme for this year's leadership team in the school. Yeah, so like you said, our Prefect team is super keen and super keen to get into everything this year, everything that we have in store. Um, so this year's theme is CCC, Connection, Community and Culture. Um, so bringing back that kind of spirit that we have at Turag, especially after lockdowns and being away from everyone for so long. So we really want to bring back that um, sense of community, sense of belonging yeah yeah absolutely and I, I think the catch the catchphrase is going to yes. work really well too to remind everyone all year of what's truly important to us as we embark on 2022 um hope you could have chosen anything as your theme where does yeah. the idea of ccc come from it's a good question so <laughs> <laughs> nina and i were actually lucky enough in january we uh, were a part of a leadership um, conference with all of the leaders from various melbourne schools um, and we came together and I guess Nina and I were able to see that all of these different schools had various themes and ideas and we kind of, I guess, grasped onto all these different ones and kind of came with our own yes. theme to bring to Turak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's so important to never assume you have all the answers or the yeah. ideas, but to keep your eyes open. Um, going to that conference and seeing other leaders, what was it that inspired you or what surprised you in that context? I think it was amazing to see that so many of these leaders were like reflections of ourselves yeah, yeah. Um, and we had so many things in common um, and yet they came from different paths and had different backgrounds and slightly different aspirations and yet they were also leaders of their school so that was really really amazing to see. Yeah yeah you can always assume that there are there's probably more differences than similarities yeah. obviously that exist in that context. Um, Nina what have you already seen on display in these first few weeks at Turak? Where have you seen examples of CCC in action? Yeah so we had our O day um, last Thursday and that was such a success we saw um, students from every single year level come down and interact with all our leaders which was super exciting everyone was so, so keen and we got so many little names on everyone's sign up sheets um, so that was a big one that we've seen as well as even um, last year our some of our assemblies we've mm. had um, a lot of I think uh, student engagement and involvement in our yeah. assemblies, which has been exciting. <laughs> we actually know that for sure. Last night we had um, our first junior school soccer after school activity. We had 65 students oh, sign wow. up. Uh, and over the weekend, new students have been emailing me to tell me what they've signed up for. And I think we're in for explosive numbers in everything this year. Um, one more question for you each. Hope, what do you think is unique about Nina's leadership style? What do you admire about her as a leader? Oh, where to start? <laughs> um, I really love that Nina leads with such authenticity um, and she's very inclusive in her leadership style. Mm. Yeah. I, can, I will definitely concur with that. What about Hope Nina? What's she like as a leader? Hope is a very headstrong woman. Just, <laughs> just is super amazing at really thinking everything through, getting a team together and being so on top of all her work. Mm, you might be a nice little formidable matching pair here, I think. Well, it's always lovely to hear about people reflect on the leaders around them. And in March, we get to celebrate International Women's Day. And this year, Turak, for the first time, are going to host their own event where we encourage our students, our community, our parents, our collegians to come and be part of the conversation in front of us. This year's theme is breaking the biases. And we do have to look to those leaders around us to see what are the things that we could be inspired to be and maybe what are the subconscious things that we always don't realise. So watch out for that invitation coming into inboxes this week. We look forward to all of you joining in that conversation as we roll into March and hope that your children, whether they be existing or brand new students, sign up to be a part of the exciting culture that exists here at Turak in 2022. Thank you.